I'm nominating Justin James. Um, he's done a lot of work this year on automating processes within the school. This isn't something that he's been trained on himself. He's actually used his initiative to, to develop his skills using the tools that are available. And he's done a lot of work to automate various systems within the school. The impacts are that he's taken a lot of workload from, from the rest of the team. Um, he's improved contact with students, given a better student experience and providing them with additional information that they, they may not already have been aware of. He's very personable, lots of fun, he's very enthusiastic, always looking for, for a challenge and willing to get involved. The prize would really help him to, to further develop his skills and look at other areas where he could improve systems within the school. So I'm nominating Erica Davis. Firstly, she's a fantastic and dedicated wellbeing practitioner and Secondly, because she has demonstrated an ability to make really positive changes to the programme. If Erica was to win this award, it would enable her to deliver a compassion-focused approach to therapy. So in Erica's one-to-one -one support with students, she would be able to use this approach to support with common mental health concerns, which we know largely affect our student population and the demand on our service is growing, so to embed this approach would be really beneficial to the skills that our practitioners already have. It would also mean that Erica would be able to encompass her learning from this and be able to then expand that and cascade it to our other wellbeing practitioners and counsellors in the service, which would be immensely beneficial um, for our services overall and hopefully support the students to stay within university.